okay so now let's look at uh, the simple frameworks um, on the simple frameworks uh, if you have to solve uh, the uh, the members of uh, the frame so which is f uh, g p and c h uh, e i and d so uh, to calculate these uh, members of uh, this uh, this uh, framework this frame we have to calculate first them uh, the support nah. So after calculating the support, then we have to balance the support. So if we calculate uh, to calculate the support, we have to first calculate uh, the the whole distance of uh, the this beam. Yeah. So to calculate the distance here of the beam, we have to um, we have to separate or we have to divide our our triangle here into a right angle triangle so if you divided a triangle here which now we're going to have a right angle triangle so this side we're having 60 so if this is a right angle triangle that means that this side is going to be x which is our adjacent this side is our hypotenuse uh, sorry our opposite and then this side is going to be our hypotenuse so to find uh, the value of x now we can use cos uh, theta we said cos theta is equal to uh, opposite over hypotenuse so which is going to be cos 60 will cost to 1 over uh, 2 now so if it's 1 over 2 then means that this side is going to be 1 and then this side is going to be 2 so that means the distance from this point to this half of this triangle is going to be 1 on the side and then to find this value of y the value of y is going to say that this one is going to be sine theta is equal to um, opposite over hypotenuse which is a uh, our opposite okay was going to be sine 60 sine 60 is equal to uh, square root of uh, 3 over 2 so that means that this side or this height from this point to this point is going to be square root of uh, 3 this side and then uh, this one is going to be 1 so now it gives us the whole distance of uh, the beam now if uh, this is 1 and then this one is 1 even here is going to be one okay so that means that this triangle is going to give us two and then even this one going to give us a two so that means the whole distance of at the beam is going to be four okay so taking moment at l ne? moment at l it will be the sum of anti-clockwise of clockwise moment equals to the sum of anti-clockwise moment ne? at equilibrium so so and then if you complete um the the, the uh, okay so if if we're taking moment at l the moment at l uh, we're going to say the sum of uh, clockwise moment equals to the sum of anti-clockwise moment so then if we're at l um if you can uh, look at uh, uh if we look at uh, 20 20 is clockwise and then uh, 60 is clockwise and then r and uh, 50 here is anti-clockwise so uh, this 50 yeah in this case we going to, we are not going to consider this 50 because it's at the base of the uh, at the base of the beam so that means the distance of this uh, of this uh, 50 is a zero because it's at the base of uh, the beam so and then uh, this 50 the distance of this 50 it will be the distance from uh, this point to uh, the, the distance of the beam which is square root of um, 3 yeah so we're going to say the clockwise moment is going to be 20 multiplied by 20 multiplied by distance to l is a uh, 1 okay plus uh, 50 60 60 yeah is going to be 60 multiplied by the distance to um to l and this year and this uh, remember here we said this one is one the whole distance of this triangle is a two so if it's one here plus two then it's going to give us a three 
then uh, we're going to say equals to anti-clockwise uh, moment. Anti-clockwise moment is going to be 50 and R. So it's going to be R multiplied by 4 uh, plus uh, 50 multiplied by the square root of 3. So the distance of uh, this angle uh, of this uh, force is going to be the third uh, square root of three because of uh, the, from the distance from this point to this side is uh, three, the square root of three. So, and then uh, we solve for r now. So if solve for r, that means here we're going to have twenty plus ninety uh, plus is it ninety? 16 multiplied by 3 is 180 so so it's going to be 20 multiplied by 180 uh, minus by uh, 50 50 multiplied by the square root of 3 is going to be uh, 80 86.6 will be equals to r divided by Four, yeah, divided by four, and then uh, we're going to uh, get. Um, so R is going to be um, our R is going to be uh, twenty twenty eight point twenty eight point uh, three nine kilo newton. So this uh, is our R. So and then uh, that means uh, this is the force here at R is uh, 28.39 kilo newton. And then uh, taking a moment at R now to find our right, our left support, which is uh, L. So to find L is going to be, um, it's going to say the clockwise moment is called anti-clockwise moment. So, the, the, the all of this force, this one, this, and this are anti clockwise, and then uh, uh, this L is clockwise, uh, clockwise. And then uh, we can uh, calculate it at uh, this side, we can say that at R, um, at L, so, oh, sorry, okay, at R, at R, clockwise moments cause anti clockwise moment, and then uh, um, here at L. That means 60 is uh, anti-clockwise, uh, 20 is anti-clockwise, and 50 also anti-clockwise. And then uh, to calculate uh, this value of L, we can say the uh, R, L is uh, multiply, L is clockwise, L is clockwise. So if L is clockwise, going to multiply it by 4, and then it will be equals to uh, 60 multiplied by 1 plus uh, 20 multiplied by 3 uh, plus uh, 50. Sorry, 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 sorry. This is going to be 50 multiplied by 50 multiplied by square root of 3. And then we get uh, this answer. The, so if as, as we are at R now, taking a moment at R. And means a V60 is going to anti clockwise with a distance of 1 to uh, R, and then uh, 20 is going uh, anti clockwise with a distance of 3 to R, and then 50 is going anti clockwise with a distance of square root of uh, 3, yeah, over to this point. And then we get our RL will be equal to. Uh, clockwise moment okay L will be equals to 50 51.6 point six six uh, five kilo Newton so then this is how we calculate uh, the the moment on a uh, framework so to calculate the support uh, the sub support at uh, okay, this is how we calculate our support on a simple uh, framework. So tune in to the next video where we're going to calculate uh, the members of uh, this uh, framework.